Are you at Cerulean Gym just out a rocky tunnel? It was the way you laugh and the way that you swim. I knew that you'd be trouble. We made such a big splash, big crash. You'll be my tidal wave. Breaks me down like an avalanche. Then we go dance in the rain. Nasty, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. I'm gone forever. Don't tease me, my heart is freezing. Cause you whipped up this icy weather. I'm talking in my Chances were slim that much It's plain to see But I found you standing with him And thought it should have been me I had my chance and I blew it My closing hearts are right through it I'm coming down like a crash in a wake Messy, you're gonna miss me When I'm gone, I'm gone forever Don't tease me Dudes, my name is Audrey13. Welcome to the final episode of our Strange Log. Or why did I say Strange Log? Don't worry about that. That's for some other time. But we're back for the last episode of Sacred Gold Egg Lock. Ha! Ah! Okay, that was a long ass grinding session. And the main reason I actually had to grind more than those three Pokemon is because Red's levels are upped. A lot in this game. A good 10 levels every Pokemon. So, we're going to go into the squad we're going to be bringing for the final battle versus Red. And here we are, leading off with the basically the MVP of our first Elite Four run, Jose the uh, the Drapion with a, a naive nature ho holding the Expert Bell. I almost said holding Battle Armor. With Earthquake, Night Slash, Cross Poison, and Ice Fang. So pretty cool stuff. Next up, we have Pudge the Venusaur holding leftovers. Uh, has a what? Uh, quiet nature with earthquake, sleep powder, petal dance, and sludge bomb. So I got rid of Giga Drain because I'd rather just heal up, I think, than I uh, use Giga Drain. And petal dance is so much more powerful that it'll be really nice for Red's Blastoise, assuming he still has a Blastoise. I'm I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be the same squad. I just know that the levels are like added. They added ten to them. So, yep, that's about it. Next up, we have Power the Flygon. My channel mascot. He's over there right now. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Flygon, holding the Choice Band of Crunch, Outrage, Earthquake, and Strength. This thing's gonna obliterate faces. I could almost let Power solo the entire battle with the Choice Band and Outrage, but I mean, he'd be able to take out half the team, and then he'd be. W then he'd be confused, but I love this Pokemon. It's so good. Next up, we have Gray, the Vaporeon with Grass Nut, Yawn, Ice Beam, and Surf. I may give it something over Yawn, because I'm not sure I'm going to really need that, um, but it's got leftovers and a modest nature. So pretty cool stuff. Next up, we have Chuck, the Infernape. With, an, with a jolly nature, holding the choice band as well, with close combat, fire punch, thunder punch, and earthquake. 
pretty cool stuff. This thing's... I'm, I love this team. I'm so excited to finish this series with this squad. And finally, we have the guy who came in uh, the last couple episodes after someone else died. I don't remember. I think it was Luxray. And uh, we have Marty the uh, Giraffe Rig. I forgot his freaking Pokemon name again. Weird. Anyway, it's got a naughty nature holding the wise glass with Psychic Energy Ball, Shockwave, and Nasty Plot. So yeah, uh, I think I'm actually going to... I might give Shadow Ball just for the hell of it to uh uh vaporeon oh great or marty can learn it marty's gonna get it over nasty blood actually i'd rather him have it because he would need it more all right nothing else i want to teach anybody so we're just gonna get going here hopefully no pokemon sweet okay so i mean i suppose it doesn't matter but you could get an we could have gotten an encounter in here mount silver cave obviously i forfeited it All right, screw it. No sleep powder. Too bad, so sad. I don't want to use waterfall, so I'd rather just use rock climb to get up here. Because it's not easy to forget a. Uh... Oh, I swear. I hope I don't have to have waterfall to do this. Because that is so dumb. Because I don't. I don't know if I can fly to the top of Mount Silver. Because I. I don't think I can. Because that doesn't make much sense. At least in Pokemon terms, but. Because I really, I mean, rock climb, I have a second, what, why do I have two stealth rocks to It's so weird. I need to put on a repel because I don't need to catch any Pokemon. I don't want to get done with this. Okay, good. I did not need waterfall. This is where the waterfall thing took me, I believe. I hope that the waterfall is just to get items because I really don't want to, <clears throat> I really don't care to try to figure out where I'm going. Well, not, that's not what I mean. It doesn't matter. I just want to kind of be done with the series, in all honesty. I'm ready for this final battle against Red. I got tired of playing this game, dude. I had to grind for so long. I forgot how much, like, Mount Coronet this is. I assume they probably based it a little bit on Mount Coronet because of the... Because <clears throat> I think Mount Coronet, the... Uh... Gen 4 came out before these games, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all the, uh, the remakes came out after. Okay, there's apparently, there's gotta be something on the rock. A rare candy. Okay, not bad. In all honesty, uh, there's one Pokemon that deserves that more than any of them. And that should be just because I love him so much. Actually, I was gonna say that Jose deserves it. For sure. We're gonna put my boy power up front. Oops. Because if, I mean, if Red's... Oh my gosh, go down. Jeez, oh. Gosh, I hate this joystick. I don't remember. Okay, so if those just get me to items, I don't care. I mean, it's no big deal to literally uh, end up going back down the rocks. It just takes a little bit of time, but I don't care to spend all that time. That was a really weird audio visual glitch if you saw that. Okay, is there anything on this rock? I'm actually alive. Okay. I may get I may allow myself to use that in case we need it, but if Red's the same as he is in normal play, where he leads out with his Pikachu, I'd like to lead out with my Flygon. So we're gonna We're gonna save. It's been one hell of a fucking journey, everybody. I really hope you all enjoyed the series. So let's get started. Forgot about that gold, that gold and silver throwback animation. He did lose Pikachu. You see what I mean? I think the Pikachu is actually 88 in the original games. All right, I'm not gonna speed at all in this battle. So, you know me, I like to speed a lot, but this is the final battle. What our journey has been leading up to. I'm actually really surprised power outspeed. I guess Pikachu. Pikachu's not that fast, actually. The anime anyway makes you think different, but it's not that fast. Alright, I'm going to. Hold on one sec. Hold on. I also don't remember if it was snowing in the original game. Alright, Blastoise. Um, I think it, it probably is Ice Beam. 
So I still feel Pudge is probably my best bet. I'd like to let everyone battle someone. I went up and I searched Bulbapedia on the internet, but then it said, do you want to open it there or the app? And I'm like, oh, I forgot I had that. Hold on real quick, wait, real quick. I don't know if I'll remember to turn off the green screen for this, but look how derpy Pikachu looks in the man in the manga. I almost said manga. Can we just get to the stats already? Oh my gosh, there's so much on Pikachu. Oh my god, they sure love Pikachu 90. So it's 10 higher than power. Actually, no, power's base 100, isn't he? So never mind. Okay, uh, Blastoise. Who do I want to go out for Blastoise? Let's see, he's, I'm, I'm trying to remember his team. Was it uh, Pikachu, Blastoise, Charizard, Venusaur, Snorlax, and Lapras? I'm pretty sure those are his Pokemon. Power's only going to come back in if there are dire circumstances. Okay, so I think I have it planned out how I want it to go. So, Blastoise being next, we're going to go with Pudge. So, I'm thinking I'm going to do... Uh, have Pudge do Blastoise, have Gray take on Charizard, Marty take on Venusaur, Jose take on Lapras, and Chuck take on Snorlax. So, I'm just gonna hit you hard with the Pedal Dance. You're gonna- Fake Owl! I did not know- I actually forgot Blastoise got- I did not mean to actually hit the speed button. I did that completely on accident. I suppose it didn't matter because- Oh, you have a Rindo Berry? Really? Even with the Rindo Berry, that still did so much damage. I should live this. Wizard is just 100% accurate in the hail. It doesn't get boosted by the hail. Nothing gets boosted by the hail, right? Thank you. Please don't freeze me. Theoretically, Blastoise should be dead next. Now. Because I don't think it can outspeed me. I forgot I gave you leftovers. It just basically, yep, okay, so Blastoise is down. Woo! <laughs> Good job, Pudge. Proud of you, my dude. Alrighty. What's your next one? Alright, whatever, I'm speeding through that, sorry. I mean, it's just the animations in these games take so long. You know, I wonder if they actually come out in the exact order I have them written down here. I had Pikachu... Blastoise, because I know those are the first two, and I wrote Charmander, or Charizard, Venusaur, Lapras, and Snorlax. I wonder if they'll come out in that order. And I accidentally turned on my headphones, and that scared the crap out of me. Alright, great, let's go, buddy! I don't even think a Power Orb Solar Beam could take me out. Alright, let's surf you. Focus Blast, you don't even have Solar Beam. I kind of assumed it would be... You have a freaking Pasho Berry, really? Holy crap! Even with the. Dude, my team is super strong. That's crazy how much damage that did. Even halved by the Pasho Berry. Yeah, this isn't gonna do much of anything to me, in all honesty. It, it probably will do maybe 30%. Yeah, that was a good estimate. I think that was, like, 35? 30? Anyway, Charizard's down. Woo! Good job, boys. I bet that the Venusaur will have a, uh, Aka Berry. I don't think it'll have a... What is the... the... Psychic Berry? I don't remember. Um... Yeah, I was right. I think I think I got the order like down perfectly. Snorlax and Lapras maybe flapped, but flapped, flopped. Okay. Oh, it starts with a P. I can't remember. Ugh. I remember that I gave it to my Caesar in the Insurgent Soul Link. Hayapa. That's what it was. Let's try and remember. I think I was. I don't know. It doesn't even matter. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I think you probably have the Aka Berry. Or maybe the Yachi Berry. Could be. I doubt you have the Koba Berry. And a one-shot. That was a crit. That crit probably mattered. I mean, we're on the same level, and I have all those Pokerus EVs. So, you know. Yeah, Snorlax and them are flat. Okay. Jeez, why do I, why do I keep saying that? Alright, Chuck, come out here and do your, do your deed. Choice Bandit, close combat. You have... I guarantee, 
I don't even know if he can live it with the Choppleberry, dude. Considering I'm also two levels above it. He's probably got... Well, I would... Chopples, that's the... You don't even have a Choppleberry. Alright! I'm very surprised about that, because that's the normal typing's only weakness. Okay, come on. There we go. Whatever. That's fine. Next up is Lapras. And I'm going to, uh... Jose. And Hapr... Jose, I'm pretty sure Lapras is his last Pokemon. Unless they gave him something different. Espeon! That's even better! <laughs> I have Jose! Is that... I'm pretty sure he had Lapras. I don't know. I know he had Lapras in the original, so maybe he... Whatever. I don't know. Anyway. I'm a Night Slash you. Wow. I didn't actually expect that. Um, that worked out even better for Jose. He got to take on a Pokemon that literally could not touch him. I was worried that Lapras would have Cheer Cold. We beat Red! We're the strongest trainer in the land! Let's go! Seventeen... thousand. Saving. Don't turn off the power. Did he leave something there? Because it kind of looks like he did. And I think that's it. So I think that is it, I think, for Sacred Gold, everybody. That was one heck of a game. That was one heck of a series, actually. I mean, the game is whatever, but what do you think, Power? We're the strongest Pokemon in the land. You guys are the strongest Pokemon in the land. Power singing happily. Well, I'm really glad, buddy. I'll sing with you. Misty, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Anyways, guys, I really hope you all enjoyed this series. If you did, I'll appreciate it. Um, I have a series planned for later after Ultra Sun and Moon, which is coming up in about 10 days as of recording this. And I, I should hopefully have this out on the 9th. We'll see. But, you know, anyway, uh, Ultra Sun and Moon is literally right around the corner. About a week away, actually. It's crazy how time flies. So... Anyways, I'm glad we got this series done, and it was a pretty fun series. I just got really bored of it because there's so much grinding near the end for that I had to do. I had to grind up for the Elite Four rematches and then for Red even more. Uh, I just got really bored of the game, in all honesty. So, But yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed because this was a fun series to do. I'd like to do another egg lock at some point. This time I'll actually get your guys' eggs, so that's the, that's the plan. I don't know why I keep doing it with my hands, so... Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you all later.